Shalom, all praise, honor, glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Yahweh Kadash, the honor unto the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone of Ruel, and thought this is true, among many other things. Salutations to the Sisiachim and the out there that are you know, waking up the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, by spreading the gospel, the truth, you know, of the Bible in the name of Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Ba'asham, it's in the name Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior in the world in ignorance calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. You see that? So, to all your brothers and sisters out there that believe in Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, you know, to all y'all, I say Shalom. So, yeah, man, um, back at it again. You know, you see that the world is changing, man, and, um, I just seen a couple of um I say that basically a couple of um news articles concerning attacks on politicians and people are um just mad because this is just um an evident token an evident sign that people are not happy man and the scriptures are very clear when it comes to that you see so this is um, Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it rule, the people mourn. And people are being, you know, they're fed up by being under these devils. Even though there's a lot of Edomites, you know, the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And of course, you have uh, the spiritual uh, you have the spiritual you have the angel satan and he has his uh, fleshly counterparts which are these edomites you know for the majority because a lot of our people they follow after the works of satan as well man and they've been doing it like ephesians 2 also explain uh, explains you know but now there's a lot of other people walking after the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan. You know, the children of disobedience. And these devils are disobedient unto the Lord because they do whatever they want. You know, and I wanted to go to um, translation. And here you see, um, let me go to the NLT. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. Why? Because just laws are being put in place and people need to follow after the laws of Yahweh, you know, that have been given to the children of Israel, that has been, you know, passed through Moses to give to the children of Israel. But when the wicked are in power, they groan. You see, people are very, um, you know, unhappy. You know, stress the, the hell out. And that's what you see, man. Man, damn it. Even if you have a job, you know, he's cousin, you know, but in the morning or, you know, when, when, when you know, Sunday passes and you need to get ready for, for work, you know, you have to go to these damn devils again. But, hey, that's part of our punishment as well. And still, you know, the most high makes it more than bearable. And sometimes, of course, you know, depending, uh, you know, with um depending on what job you have but you know if you work construction you know you have a lot of morons there man you know a lot of people that are degenerates a lot of people that are not able to um basically communicate properly and it depends on in what region of the country you're working if you work like in a region where there's a lot of devils you know especially in the you know, small town devils. These people are just small minded, man. They are already base men. But base men in, 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 in little villages, man, that's a double whammy, so so to say. You know, horrible, man. But, um, let me see. In the ASV, when the righteous are increased, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man bear a rule, the people sigh. Like, Oh, man, I'm tired of this, man. You see? Why? Verse 7, the righteous consider it the cause of the poor, 
but the wicked regarded not to know it. And this is what you see with these politicians, and we shouldn't be voting anyway, because these people are against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and against His Son, Yahweh Shai. Look at what they are portraying the Heavenly Father and His Son as, man. You know, they are portraying them like they are so-called white people, you know, after their own liking, you know. This, this is a weirdo. If you look up the word weirdo, you know, it goes into a man that has long hair and a beard, you know. Strange young man with long hair and a beard, and that's that Cesare Bourget character right there. Because if you go to the at the mom line, and you go to the word weirdo, strange person. Let me see here. You see, strange person from weird, from compared early Scottish weirdy, a weirdy young man with long hair and a beard. You see that? So that is what these people are about. The weirds. You catch the weirdo over there, there. You know, and then you know, <laughs> originally, oh, something else. You know, it it's a lot. Then let me see. Yeah, so it, it recently it goes back to someone with long hair and a beard, you know, being a weird individual. And that is just when you read about that, you see this individual. You see, based upon Cesare Bergier, and we believe that if you go to David Rothschild, that's him right there, you know, inside joke. But David M. Rothschild, Cesare Bergier, you see that? And you see there, the child Jesus. It's not my Jesus. When, you, when we explain about Yahweh Shai as a parents, you know, it's not my Jesus. Lord, you know, he, 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 Jake is the short man. A lot of other people with him, you know. But you need to get right with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and serve him in spirit and in truth, you know, and not according to your own emotions or slave doctrine because y'all forget quick, man. Y'all forget quick. Who, you know, you see all this. You see that? And they love if they don't teach. <laughs> Look at this dude, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he got comfy down there. He already, the Lord already took him out, man. Calling himself the God sent comforter. Come on, man. You can't be doing that. It's going off, man. That's why the most I took him out. You see, and this is what these devils been doing. You know? First Maccabees 3 and 48, and laid up the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. You know, that's that scripture. You see, and make the angels little, these little devils, man. An angel, according to the Bible, has also dark skin, you know, we look at Ezekiel, but let me just go back to the scriptures and also to this, because here you see Danish Prime Minister Fredriksen assaulted in Copenhagen, and you see the security is being tightened because of the, uh, you know, people being attacked in, um, in uh, Denmark and in Germany. You know, here you see also, this is a day ago, you know, so, you see an AFD politician stabbed by a man wielding a box cutter, you know, you got in the box cutter right there. Here you see also, you know, for four days ago, new, new knife attack wounds local German politician in Mannheim, that's incorrect, it's the same, it's the same. But if you go all the way down, you know, 8 May, you know, it's also something going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. The last time, so I was like, damn, again? You see? Other guy got stabbed. You know, it's a lot of, 
You know, even a while ago, you know, Thierry Baudet got, got, you know, Dutch politician got attacked. If correct, also twice, he got slapped in the face with an umbrella. Quite quite hard, man. I saw the video, I was like, damn. You know, they're really out for these people, man. Nine more people deleted in attacks on pol uh, political candidates as violent, violence escalates days before elections in Mexico, Mexico, man. You see? Ben, uh, Berlin Senator Attack, this is, you know, the same as the other. In library, um, uh, amid spate of violence against German politicians, you know, a lot of these people are sick and tired of these um, people. You see, it's also of these people jumping into the country, but the, the politicians are letting them in, man, you know. Through, uh, under the the guise of you know helping these people but they let in these they, they don't let in whole families but it's just the men a lot of times from a certain age they're being in there and they see all these uh blonde hair blue eyes and, or, or brown hair and blue eye or gray gray eye or green eye individuals you know these females and they be like damn they they walking around with their, you know, boxing and all and all that, you know, everywhere, ass crack all showing and, you know, lips all showing, of course, they're going to be roused up to be moving in, you know, and there's a whole different, uh, especially if they come from these, uh, you know, from the Middle East and from um, countries where they practice uh, Islam when they had to be covered up. And not all countries are like that, by the way, because a lot of them that come over uh, to the, to Europe, they are they might be more covered up than in their own countries. But they have a certain culture, a certain mindset concerning females, you know, so that only brings in more, um, I say that, just more clashes, cultural clashes. But second is 15, because a lot of people are stabbing up you know these 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 politicians, and you you see that more and more people are being disliked because you know you see the W, uh, you know the World Edomite Forum. I have to say that say it like that. It's economic, but you know with uh, Klaus uh, Cotton Swab, you see that these people are, you know, trying uh, or not trying. They are pushing a certain uh, a certain agenda. You know these fifteen minute cities, fifteen minute cities, and all that. You know they want to push the people into um, staying in their own region, and that everything is nearby, and that they are easily to be controlled. And if eventually, you know, with the whole social crediting score system that has been already beta tested in China, even further than that, because if you don't comply with the status quo, you go against the government. Even if it's online, you say something or spread something, you know, that goes against the government, they can just deduct some credit score points and you will lose uh, the privilege of, you know, going to a certain restaurant or going to the gym or, you know, money penalties, you name it. And that's where they want to go, man, you know, to the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of the harachma you see so don't get it twisted this will come and it's already here but not like as the number one payment system in this earth you see that so uh, let us go back so um you see see we're in a new era of attacks on political leaders man you see that and this is in 2022 you know so it's just uh, illegal violence, legislative violence in yeah, Taiwan. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, you know, just let me just go to the scripture. Second, as is 15, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. See that? So that's all we... Sedition goes into 
con conduct or language inciting re rebellion against the authority of the state. You know, and a lot of times you have um, people like um, Soros behind a lot of these movements, you know, like Antifa and uh, BLM and um, what else, man? This guy is just promoting a lot of things to get people roused up. But a lot of y'all are jumping in these things, these uh, movements, while we're not supposed to be doing that. Why? Because it's not the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to do that, man. Or to try to vote, um, you know, against uh, certain people. Like, you know, we're not supposed to be voting anyway. You know, it's not of the scriptures. The most I would choose the one from among our brethren to be ruling over us, you know? And we wanted the king, and what we, did we get in Saul? Now, how did that go? You know, that was not very good, you know? So think, uh, King David, uh, through the spirit, took over. You know? And then his son, King Solomon, you know, who had the 40 years of peace, you know? So, but when the Lord comes back, it's gonna be all, like it's supposed to be, man. And King David will also come back. But that's a whole other uh, video. But uh, Isaiah 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And you know, a lot of people are listening to the serpents, just like Eve in the garden. In the garden, listen to all these philosophies and, oh, you know, you, 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 you're a strong black female. You know, you don't need no man. And you hear, hear some benefits. You know, if it's, uh, it looks, uh, and it sounds, you know, they come with all types of BS, you know, and, and, and uh, the, the BW, you know, the black woman goes right and grabs, uh, you know, everything that these devils are throwing at them, man. You know, so they, they're totally, you know, the black woman is gone. All this fucking rubbish. Stop it, man. You know? So, and the word queen goes to Quan, you know, which goes into hussy. You know, if you are a hussy, it's not a good word, man. Hussy. A hussy, a woman considered to be brazen or promiscuous. You are a slut. You know, it's a classic, by the way. <laughs> the person, I mean, you a slut. You, you know, when that wicked female came up. You know, of course, the BW. Might have big titties and ass and all that, but that doesn't mean you're pretty. Especially if your spirit is nasty as the mother. You know, men ain't trying to deal with that, man. We just go to the other nations and, you know, who are humble. Or to somebody that's humble, you know, for... If there's, uh, you know, one of the so-called black women out there that are, you know, in the spirit of being humble, that's a beautiful thing. That's a woman, you know. The others are just females, and you have vaginas, and that's it, man. And a couple of sagging titties or whatever. Even if you're pretty and you don't want to fashion yourself according to the standards that you need to meet according to the Heavenly Father, you know, Written in the, in the Bible, you're not a woman, you're just a female out there, man. And the same thing for these men. You know, they want to be all effeminate. The Lord ain't looking for that, man. The effeminate shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So, if you want to be out there with nail polish on and all that, or doing all that some madness, or trying to be, you know, uh, of course, Jake trying to be different, but it's not a good look. You need to be a man, you know. Men don't need no damn nail polish. Long hair, you know, effeminate traits and all that. It's it's, it's not. Uh, we we are warriors, man. You know, we are soldiers. You know, of Yahweh Basham and Shai. The Lord ain't looking for no damn effeminate, you know, so you know, sobs so to say. But um, he see it to uh, that walk down that walk to go down to into Egypt, and have not asked in my mouth. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. You know, so y'all trusting in their, uh, all their, uh, 
basically their 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 programs witchcraft and their politics all these 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 philosophies and bs you know we not about that man just because they have certain things that doesn't matter they're the strongest one out there you know and they're going to go down anyway so would you want to go down uh, want to go down with them you know and concerning these politicians a lot of people are mad, but these these wicked decrees. Let me just read it. Um, Isaiah ten and one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that, and that right grievousness. You know things that hurt and stress, oppress, which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be the prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And who are they targeting? The children of Israel, because we are the, you know, the, the poor here. This is uh, Lamentations five and three. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. You see that? We have drinking, uh, drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest, because he will what wear out the saints. You know, and if you. Uh, what's in the book of Daniel twelve? Or seven and twenty-five, yeah. Daniel seven and twenty-five, when he shall speak great words against the Most High, this damn devil, you know, so the white man, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. You know, the saints are the children of Israel, the ones who have a covenant with the Lord, and think to change time and laws. You know, with the agenda, with the in your agenda, you see a certain calendar, right? The Gregorian or the Julian calendar which these devils came up with instead of following the moon. You know, full moons, 14 days. You know, if you have a new moon, the moon is, uh, you know, uh, you, you can't really see the moon, you know. And then it starts to wax, uh, you know, uh, up into uh, the full moon again. You know, after exactly 14 days, you have the full moon and it decreases again, man. You know, until the full, until the new moon. So... And they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of times. So I wanted to focus upon the word wear out or the words wear out. Let me just look. And the saints of the most and shall wear out. And it goes into to wear away, to wear out, to harass constantly. You see? And that's what people are going through, man. Yeah, it's also, well, you know, Bella for Aramaic corresponding, corresponding uh, to H1086, but used only in the mental sense to afflict, to wear out. And that's what these people are doing, these devils. You see? Arise and depart, for this is not our rest. Micah chapter 2 verse 10 Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest Because it is polluted It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction You see that And what happens You know when you are in this damn place And don't forget it's for a punishment Haggai 1 and 6 Ye have sown much and bring in little Ye eat but ye have not enough Ye drink but ye are not filled with drink Ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earned wages, earned wages to put it into a bag with holes. You got, you know, so you make it have money, working, you know, 40 hours a week or maybe 32 or whatever, or even double, you know. But here, let me just go out, uh, go in to the 40 hours, you know, and you just making money to put it into a bag of holes. What? Because... A lot of people, you know, you got you got bills to, bills to pay, man. If you have your own house, you need you know to pay the rent. That's the largest, you know, like like sixty, seventy percent. Get your electric bill, water, you know, gas, you know, and then you have your internet bill and phone bill. You maybe and almost everything is done, man. Then you have your food, and that's it, man. And maybe a gym or whatever, your car notes. You know, gas. This goddamn devil has you working to just keep certain shit that ain't even yours. <laughs> you know? Well, hey, hey, that's part of it, man. That's, 
border the curses, man. And then we go into um, Baruch chapter, what was it? Uh, 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. The Lord scattered us you know, among these damn devils. Why? Because we were negligent in hearing the voice of the Lord to his servants, the prophets. We didn't want to listen. And the Lord taught us a lesson. And that's that's what we deserve. For reproach and a curse. But these devils furthered their affliction. As the scriptures also say. And also, and to be subject to payments. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. Which departed from the Lord. This, because of that. You know, uh, people going off. That's why we're in this predicament, man. We could pick up the tab. You see that? So, but when it comes to the politicians being stabbed up, and we shouldn't be, not be doing that because the Lord is very clear when it comes to people taking vengeance. You should not do that, man. Because the Lord will, and sometimes you want to, you know, do something, but don't do it, man. Sirach 28 and 1, aka the book of Ecclesiasticus. He that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord, and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. You know, wait ye upon me till I rise up to the prey. The Lord will, uh, vengeance belongeth unto me. You know, that's what the Lord says. But yeah, basically, you see the people doing certain things, but that's just the scriptures, man. The Egyptians, first the Egyptians, you know, they're now starting to fall apart according to Daniel 2, uh, verse uh, 39 on down. You know, we're in the toes, man. We're in the last stretch, so to say. You know, so these devils are supposed to be uh, uh, falling apart, man. They're supposed to uh, be... Uh, divided because we are in that last part which is iron mixed with miry clay and all these politicians are starting to fall, uh, fall apart you have the Brexit and all the things that have been uh, happening already but the people there shall be uproars of the people there's many scriptures that uh, it all are in the Bible that warn you for the days that are you no, know, ahead, even this, these days, man. So it's all prophecy, man. But yet, you know, we need to stick to the Lord and the Lord will deliver us, man. Y'all are the So with that, I would like to say shalom.